My name is Bella Wright. This aisled building with these semicircular arches. On this day on the 5th of July. In 2014, Leicester City Council was awarded a research and development grant to develop the use of eye beacons in improving the heritage interpretation of Leicester Castle's Great Hall. Leicester City Council brought together a diverse team of creative and technical professionals who would deliver this objective. And we were brought on board this project as the creative team. Metro Bulo Dodo has been making work since 1997. We specialise in historic and heritage interpretation work that's both emotive and engaging. Leicester Castle has a really rich history. Um, we've got connections to Richard III. We know that he stayed here not long after he was crowned King of England. Three other kings came here as well, and uh, J.M. Barry, who's famous for writing Peter Pan. He was a reporter with a Nottingham paper here. Um, Chaucer was connected with the building. A really, really rich history. And we open the building once a month to the general public to come and have a look round. But unfortunately, we don't have any interpretation in here. So people were coming into the building, looking around for 15 minutes, and then walking out. And they were none the wiser about this fantastic history in this building. The focus of the research is on the added value of uh, eye beacon-based interpretation on heritage sites and their visitors, particularly in terms of learning and enjoyment. The challenge with this project wasn't just about creating the content, it was also about understanding the technology. And for that, we had to work really closely with Lockley, who use eye beacons. Now these eye beacons mean that we're able to know the location of any person in that room and deliver bespoke content to their mobile devices. We don't have a permanent staff to perhaps provide guided tours, we rely on sessional staff and the building's listed. We're very restricted on what we can do on the interpretation. So what we were doing, we're looking for a way of interpreting the building, improving the interpretation of the building, improving the enjoyment that visitors get from this building. This is an eye beacon. And this is the main technology that we had to get to grips with for this project. Now, iBeacons use Bluetooth low energy to send a signal that means any mobile phone or tablet knows how close it is to these beacons. And that meant that we could deliver our content to them individually, giving them a personalised experience of the castle. Trail shares the historical figures that all have a connection with the Great Hall and it takes the form of a treasure hunt. This was the bones of King Richard. So, can you match that to its shadow? Ooh! Green Bicycle Trail is the dramatisation of Bella Wright's murder trial that took place here in the criminal court in 1920. My name is Bella Wright. The visitor is instructed to stand in a number of different locations inside the criminal court. The eye beacon then triggers the relevant content held in the app. After the visitor has loaded the tour, they do not need to engage with their mobile device until the end of the tour. By using this technique, the visitor is not consumed by the technology, but instead they are actively engaged. They're physically sitting in the judge's chair as they hear the final verdict in this incredibly dramatic and emotive trail. People's fascination with that kind of thing, they just see the technology as a medium to get at the information and most people are quite comfortable with that now, even, even, all, even perhaps more mature visitors. In terms of the technology, uh, visitors are finding the app easy to, to use and that goes even for visitors who are saying that they're not very technically confident and who are not regular app uh, users. People are more confident with new technology than you think. I don't think you should underestimate people's ability with their, with their phones. The Castle Court Audio Trail shares the stories and anecdotes of the people who worked here from 1962 to 1992. During the morning courts, it could be quite busy. Quite noisy, quite busy. Sisters had come down to interview their client so they could discuss the case. Over three Heritage Sundays in May, June and July 2015, we tested our work on the public. 
That meant that Leicester University were able to gather feedback from all the people doing the tours and we were able to make improvements until a final version was launched in August 2015 as part of Leicester's City Festival. It has definitely had a positive impact on how much they get out of their visit. So we're finding uh, uh, big differences in how much people believe they learned and how much they say they enjoyed their visit. Well, we've been absolutely delighted with the outcome. The dwell time has increased enormously, people's enjoyment of the building has increased and people have learned so much more about its rich heritage. And there's something here for all audiences.